So we are going to start apoptosis. Apoptosis is a pathway of cell death. Pathway of cell death. And this term apoptosis, this process was recognized in 1972 and the named after the Greek designation for falling off. And because of its genetically regulated apoptosis is sometimes also called as programmed cell death we are having some genes which are related to associated with apoptosis like pro apoptotic genes anti apoptotic genes and some sensors so in case of pro apoptotic genes we have like p53 genes bcl access back and Bax gene. In case of anti apoptotic genes, we are having like BCL2, BCL XL genes. And in case of sensors, we are having BIM, BID, Puma, and Noxa. And in this case, and the pro apoptotic genes will increase the apoptotic process and in anti apoptotic genes they will decrease the apoptotic process so we are going to start pathway of apoptosis we have two pathway intrinsic pathway and extrinsic pathway of apoptosis but before that we will going to get some information about normal process what is happening inside the cell so in this case we have one pigment called as cytochrome c which is present inside the mitochondria and due to presence of some channels in the mitochondrial membrane but cytochrome c is not can't go out of can't go out from the mitochondria inside the cytoplasm why because we have some gatekeeper like molecule that is called as bcl2 which is also anti apoptotic gene and due to this uh, this cytochrome c can't go inside the cytoplasm so and uh, who is supporting this bcl2 who is supporting this bcl2 this growth factor and hormones which is like salary for the bcl2 and they are helping bcl2 to, to do their work so here we are going to start pathway of apoptosis in this first pathway is intrinsic pathway it is also called as mitochondrial pathway and due to deficiency of growth factor ya hormone it will result into the decreasing the activity of bcl2 which is anti apoptotic gene and then bcl2 is replaced by bax ya back which bax ya back is pro apoptotic genes which we know and it will cause the increase in the mitochondrial permeability which leads to the cytochrome c which is present inside the mitochondria will leak out into the cytoplasm and the increase in amount of cytochrome c in the cytoplasm and after that responsible for the causing of increased activity of increased activity of apoptotic activating factor apoptotic activating factor 1 and which leads to the increase the activity of caspase 9 and 10 this caspase 9 and 10 are initiator caspases and after that they will stimulate the activity of caspase 3 6 and 7 which are executional caspases and like uh, caspase are uh, mainly cysteine containing caspase are cysteine containing protease enzyme 
that act on the protein after aspartic acid residue and so this activation of caspase 3 6 and 7 will leads to increase ya increase the activity ya promote the activity of protease which will break down the protein and endonuclease which which will break down the nucleic acid of the cell and which ultimately leads to the cell death so here is second process of apoptosis which is extrinsic pathway and in this first we can see this this is tnf receptor this is tnf receptor and fast yeah fast molecule which is also called as cd95 and here we have here we have fast associated death domains fast associated death domains here we have tnf alpha yeah fast ligand so in several kind of cell damaging factors associated with release of fast ligand and tnf alpha and they will come and attach to the outer surface of this this tnf receptor and then they will trimerize they will got trimerize and this will leads to activation of fast associated death domains they will activate due to trimer trimerization of fast associated death domains they will act, it will leads to activation of fast associated death domains and which will ultimately leads to activation activation of pro caspase 8 into the caspase 8 and which is also a initiator caspase in case of extrinsic fact pathway and they will leads to in the uh, activation of caspase 3 6 and 7 which is here same as intrinsic pathway which is executional caspase and they will ultimately leads to increase ya promote the activity of protease which will destroy the protein of cells and endonuclease which will destroy the nucleic acid of cells and ultimately which leads to cell death so here we will discuss some important points about apoptosis we already know oh, death due to uh, in apoptosis death due to activation of protease and endonuclease enzymes which are going to destroy the protein and nucleic acid respectively and here we know there is no inflammation present in the apoptotic process why because here is no activation of phospholipase no activation of phospholipase and so cell membrane will not damage cell our cell membrane will not damage and which enzymes will and for that enzymes will not comes out of the cell and so that inflammation in this case is absent and second point is we have cell shrinkage cell shrinkage is due to protease activation and which pro due to protease activation it cause the destruction of our structural proteins and due to this it it will leads to cell sink shrinkage and here third point is chromatin chromatic condensation in this case we can take one example if we have bucket a and bucket b in first case bucket a we have big size balls in second case we have small sized balls so they are having same material but this is big size they are small size so means small sized small sized ball having more tight packing means apply less space means if cells is having like this is our nucleic acid and if I break this nucleic acid into many parts then they will look like this so here we have small sized nucleic acid and here large side so here big size ball and here small size ball so due to this 
A small sized a small sized ball having more tightly packing means apply less space means if cell is having divided divided into the small nucleic acid fragment so it will acquire less space so so this is a hallmark feature of apoptosis which is chromatic condensation and last point is step ladder pattern we can see in case of gel electrophoresis like in case of gel electrophoresis like this is for normal portion this is for necrosis and this is in case of apoptosis so here the nucleic acid will be single dark band unbroken and in case of necrosis they are like a smear pattern but in case of apoptosis they are looking alike step ladder pattern so here in normal case single dark band like structure in case of necrosis they are looking alike smear pattern and in case of last apoptosis they are looking alike step ladder pattern so this is also a hallmark feature of apoptosis